Hey guys, so today I'm recreating my slurry look that I've done on Instagram. I'm just taking it and making it more wearable. So if you're interested, go ahead and keep on watching. Also, I already primed my lids. I'm also taking my Anastasia brush, which is just double-ended with a blending brush and a smaller blending brush. So if you have any of her palettes, most chances are you have this brush. And I'm also taking my NYX Jumbo Pencil. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that all over the lid. And again, just the lid. We're not taking it up to the crease or anything. And don't worry about the edges because we're going to go ahead and take the blending side of the brush and we're going to buff it out. Or any blending brush in general. Next, I'm taking my Shade and Light palette by Kat Von D. And I'm going to be using the color Ludovin. And we're going to help soften up the edges with that color. So I'm applying that color all over the crease. Okay, so now we're going to take Samuel in the same brush and we're going to go ahead and apply that to the crease one more time just to really give it some definition. Also, we're going to work on some gradients of colors. So we're going to go from darkest to lightest. So I'm working with a bunch of browns right now. And I'm also going to start off by winging it off as well. So if you have trouble, I'll show you a little card trick. But I'm, I already kind of know my eye, so I'm just winging it off. So this is a card trick. So if you have a hard time winging it off, you could always take this uh, at the bottom of your lash line and guide it upwards and wing it out. So you get like a crisper, clean line. I'm also taking my Kat Von D flat brush. And this is from an old collection that she released. And I'm taking my black color. And we're going to go ahead and pack on the black onto the lid. And we're just making sure everything's covered in black where we applied the NYX color pencil. And I'm also taking side try and we're just going to touch up and also blend off the edges from the black that we did. And I'm taking the card trick again and I'm putting it against my eye just to wing it off to make sure that every little edge is blended. Again, we're looking for gradients. Next, I'm going to be taking the other end of the Anastasia brush and I'm going to take my Jumbo Pencil in Milk and the Liquid Lipstick from Cap on B in the color Outlaw. And I'm going to be mixing the two and I'm going to go ahead and apply that underneath the eye and we're smoking it out. So this is going to act as a base. So once we apply our red eyeshadow, which I'm using Sephora blush and oh my gosh, it's going to intensify the color even more so it's less likely for it to fade and to show up very red and prominent. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take my eyeliner and mascara and I'm going to go ahead and do those two spots. I'm also going to be taking my Kat Von D Metal Crush eyeshadow and my Bosha setting spray and a pencil brush. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to spray my eyeshadow and create it into a liquid so it could be served as a liner. And what we're going to do, we're going to do like a traditional type of wing liner, except filling in the liner. We're just going to leave a little gap, as you will see in just a couple seconds. It's helping me guide, and it's also going to help me know where the other point of the star is going to go. I'm also not filling in the whole area of the liner, what I'm doing. I'm just going to leave some space in between just because I, I just want to go for that look. You could fill it in if you'd like, I just didn't want to do that. And I'm also bringing a little line downwards. And again, it's kind of like a star. So we're kind of recreating that, but just half a star of anything. So next I'm taking my e.l.f. angled brush and I'm going to go ahead and dip it into the black eyeshadow and fill in the little areas that got covered with the gold.
And next I'm taking whatever's left onto my brush of Thrasher and I'm hitting it into my inner corner. Next, I thought it was appropriate to use the Lashes Slayer by Black Magic. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop them on. Since they're new, they're a little hard to maneuver, but once you break them in, they're the easiest lashes to pop on. Alrighty, so this is my final look. Sorry for the crappy lighting, but thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!